Hello pretty polishers and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you guys the gorgeous fall 2016 Essie collection. This set was inspired by Essie's global color designer Rebecca Minkoff's time in Tokyo, Japan. Everything is so Japanese themed and absolutely stunning. She brings us six shades, three deep more classic fall shades, and three soft pastel versatile shades. I love the balance here between classic and chic. So let's take a look at each one. First up is Gogo Go Geisha and this is a dusty soft pink with a hint of mauve. The formula here was really, really good. This is a thick polish. It was almost opaque in one coat, but perfectly covered up and even in two coats. I know this shade doesn't scream fall. It looks much more like a spring shade, but we have to think outside the box, and I think Rebecca Minkoff did a great job here at choosing a very chic and versatile shade for fall. Time for some dupes. Okay, so we have Gogo Go Geisha on the left, and on the right I have Peak Show, and this is from the Winter 2015 collection. As you can tell, these are definitely not dupes, or even similar. Peak Show is much lighter and much more of a baby soft pink. And that's why Gogo Go Geisha is so unique in my collection because it has that mauve kind of tone to it but it's still like a pastel pink it's really unique to my collection so i would totally get it if you have nothing like it up next is now and zen and this is a gorgeous dove gray This one had a very similar formula to Gogo Go Geisha, very opaque and thick polish, almost opaque in one coat, perfectly smooth and even in two coats. I love gray polish so I will never get sick of it and I actually didn't have anything this exact shade in my Essie collection. Up next is You Don't Know Me, or You Don't Know Me if you say it quickly, and this is a dusty gray toned blue. Okay, so I was about to start swatching and this happened. I've never had a wonky brush from Essie. It's actually never happened to me. I've always been lucky and all of my Essie brushes have always been perfect, but it was really wonky to say the least. So since this brush was so wonky, it was a little difficult to apply, but that's not the polish's fault. That is the wonky brush's fault. Nonetheless, this formula was fantastic. It was really pigmented, very thick as well, and it was opaque in two coats. Now on to dupes. On the left I have You Don't Know Me, and on the right I have Mint Candy Apple, which is a classic Essie shade. Obviously, they look nothing alike, they're very different, but I just wanted to show you guys how different You Don't Know Me is. I really don't have anything in my collection that comes even close to it. I thought this was going to be close, but it actually isn't. As you can see, You Don't Know Me is much more dusty and darker, and actually it matches my background. Coming up is Plain Koi, and this is a Rustic Burnt Orange Crelly. Look how beautiful this polish applies. It really went on like a dream, smooth as butter. Two easy coats to reach opacity, 
To me, this is the epitome of fall. It's such a rustic, orangey tone. It reminds me of falling leaves, which I never see in Miami, but I can see them in pretty pictures. I love this tone. Up next is Makey Me Happy, and this is a Sangria Berry Red Crelly. Yum. This one was a teensy bit patchy on some nails after two coats, so it was two and a half coats because I had to add a third coat to some nails, not all of them. This is another perfect shade for fall. It screams fall. It is very classic. The only downside here is you probably have a ton of other polishes this exact shade. So let's take a look at some dupes. We've got Making Me Happy on the left, and on the right we have With The Band, which is from last year's fall collection. These aren't dupes, you can tell right away With The Band is much more of an orange tone. Let's switch it up and compare it to Shall We Chalet, and this is from last year's winter collection. Here you can automatically tell that Shall We Chalet is much more of a bright red, which means Making Me Happy is a deeper red which means these are not dupes and lastly let's swap it out with jump in my jumpsuit which is from the winter 2014 collection I keep going back a year with each polish that I switch out so here you can tell these are not dupes again jump in my jumpsuit is much brighter toned than making me happy so I had no exact dupes for this one Last but not least is Kimono Over, and this is a deep eggplant purple. You guys, this is a one coater. As you can tell, I applied it really carefully and really thick coat. You can get away with it in one coat. If you tend to apply thinner coats, then you're probably gonna do two coats on this one, but I was able to get it opaque in one coat. I love this color. This is another classic fall shade and it just looks beautiful. Let's compare Kimono Over to In the Lobby, which is from last year's fall collection. Nothing alike. These two are nothing alike, but I know I was gonna get questions, so here you go. They're completely not dupes. I had nothing in my collection that looked like Kimono Over, so I love it even more. So that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this review and found it helpful. My favorite from the bunch was definitely Plain Koi. I absolutely love that rustic burnt orange tone. It's perfect for fall. I'm gonna be honest, and I really loved last year's fall collection much more than this one. I just found it a little more unique. But this collection was still so beautiful. Don't forget to leave me a comment below letting me know which one of these was your favorite. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Until next time, stay strong in your pursuit.